Okay, good morning everybody. I don't want you to see the way I look. I haven't even put my hair up, nothing. So I'm gonna try resin today again. Now I can only work with three colors at this moment because that's all I poured because I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm trying the teals because my living room is teal. I have a big coffee here. So I'm trying this haze color and this is by, oh my goodness, I'm so sorry, I don't have the company. I will find it later and show it to you. This is going to be pause as I go because I'm doing three colors at the time and then I'm going to do some more colors later and pause it. Right now I've got a dry canvas and I'm going to be doing it dry for now and then I'm going to put clear resin later. Anyway, this is haze blue. No, just haze. And then I've got a pearl color here. And these are actually soap dyes for soap bombs. And they really work well in the resin. And this is a mint color. So I'm going to use these for now. I have no clue what I'm doing, but... Um, just give it a shot and I have more colors to come that are going on this canvas this is an 18 by 24 canvas and I want to do all in the teal colors and there will be a bit of gray as well so wish me luck people I have no clue what I'm doing I'm just going to do this simply because I want to I don't want to pour on resin right now. I'm going to pour on resin later. I, I, I'm going to put the resin on the canvas after. So, I'll just try this and see how this goes. I may not be able to even flow it without resin. I don't know. Like I said, I do not work with resin. I never have. I just tried it yesterday and did a terrible mess, to be honest. So, just worth a shot, right? That to the side. Love this color. And I don't have resin on reserve, so. And this has a 30 minute working time, so it doesn't give me a lot of time to work. And it's tabletop resin that I'm using. I will show you the, the brand by Mass. Tabletop resin. It's a little cheaper than the art resin. They are Canadian base. They were very happy that I ordered from them. Now I can't compare because I do not know what the other resins are like. But so far, it's okay. The only thing is, is I find the time to work with it is quite um, fast. And I don't like that. So I'm going to blow out the bubbles here. And I'm working in my kitchen, in my dining room slash kitchen. because I know that the temperature has to be um, warmer. And it's a little, well, it's actually very warm up today, but certainly not. Well, it's 20 degrees. I could have worked outside. But anyways, now here comes the heat gun. Let's 
I just want to check the temperature. I don't want it too hot. Ha ha ha. It's fine. Okay. Let's see what this does to me here. It's actually pretty cool. I like it a lot. Okay, so that'll be it for now. And now I'm going to put you guys on pause and mix some more colors. I'll be back. So far, it's looking very cool. I really like that. Okay, I'll be back. And up. Oh, I'm stuck. As you can see, I am in a wheelchair, but it's looking pretty cool. I like that a lot. I'll be back. My back. Counting down. Yep, I'm back. Okay, so I'm back. Mixed a few more colors. Now, what I did was, okay, I found the con container. I just want you guys to see, this is it right here. And it has all the mica colors in it. They are mica powders, so they are called Soapy Mica Powder Pigments from the soap shop. I got it on Amazon and they work really well. Am I counting down? Yes, I am. Okay. So there's 24 colors in it, and they're beautiful colors. Like, there's all kinds. They're gorgeous. And today, now I'm going to use graphite, blue pearl dry, it's called, black sea. But it's so close to this one, I decided to add some Blue Pearl Dry to it. And then I added some Graphite to it. And then Winter. And that Winter actually gives a dark gray. Oh, I just got that in there. Oh, by the way, if you ever get really sticky with the resin, all you need to do is use alcohol. It comes right off. So I put alcohol on a rag, and everything comes right off. A lot better than turpentine, which stinks like crazy. I know you can get odorless temp temp turpentine, 
but I've only got the regular and it's, oh, it stinks up your house so bad. It's ridiculous. Okay. So now I'm going to try this. The only problem with this is I don't know, <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do. So I've got a little bit on reserve here, which is not a lot, but I used parchment paper underneath. Don't do that, okay, people? It doesn't stick to the table. Okay, when you put tape on it. So that's a lesson learned. Here we go again. I don't know how I'm going to do this because I don't know if the others is going to flow because it's been sitting a while. So I'm going to try the dark blacker here. I don't know. Uh, hmm. Well, give it a try. Should I work here and here? I don't know. I don't know if I should do it in the middle. That's where you don't know if you're going to screw up your, your design here. I'm going to try at the bottom here. Or just do that kind of deal. Ooh, that's too much. Darn it. My cups were in the way, and that was a big gunk. Ugh. Hmm. Uh, leave that alone. I really don't know if I'm doing this properly. Like, I don't know. Which one did I use? The dark one or the light one? Eesh. Don't know. Again, this might be screwing it all up. Trial by error, right? Okay, I'm going to end up making a huge mess. I'm going to take these cups away for now. I just know myself. There. Oh, God, wish me luck, guys, because I don't know. If I'm messing up my, my painting already. But we'll see.
making it a lot. Get away paper. Very pretty. Okay, let's have, a, let's have a look here. Okay, did I fix that? So far, so good. I'm liking it. I'm going to pour more. Oh yeah, it's very pretty. Hmm. What to do, what to do, what to do. Okay, I'm gonna guys gonna put you on pause because I think I'm gonna do some more greens here. Because I'm thinking of leaving that space negative and then leaving like filling in all of this. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. Okay guys. So maybe I'm going to put some more dark here. Wait a minute, let me think. I do have some on reserve. I'll pick, I'll mix some greens. That's what I'll do. Okay. Let's mix some greens here. I'm going to put you on pause. It takes a little bit to do this. So let me do that and I'll, I'll get back to it. very boring to watch somebody do this so if you're asking me how much resin and everything else don't ask I don't have a clue I'm just measuring maybe half a cup at a time and then I pour them in cups yeah it's pretty much what I'm doing okay put you on pause okay so I'm back I got to thinking that maybe it would be best to start to just darken my colors at the bottom. So I'm going to give this a try. I darkened them with graphite. So the darker blues are going to be down here. Eh, give it a try. It won't hurt, right? I am running, I think. Too much at the end again. I gotta get my grease. Aw, oh, one fell over. Thank God I got pads on the floor. Oof. 
I hope this works. Okay, let's give that a shot. Jeez, I'm running all over the place here. Come on, people. <laughs> um, I can't see if I'm running. I believe I am. It's blinking. This is taking out the bubbles as well, so I'm not concerned. 